Hey guys, it's Katie with Essential Oils Learning by Doing, and I am going to answer a question that everybody has in the beginning. What is fractionated coconut oil? Um, we throw that term around quite a bit because we use it for so many different uses. Um, fractionated coconut oil is similar to the coconut oil that you've probably seen in the supermarket or used in your cooking. It's easy to find, very cheap, um, and it's solid, okay? So normal coconut oil that you see, you can see is, is solid, like a paste. And that coconut oil does still have the fat in it, and um, while it's good for cooking, and there are certain DIY projects that you would use solid coconut oil for, when we say to dilute a, co a essential oil in a carrier oil, we are usually talking about fractionated coconut oil. Okay, a carrier oil is any kind of liquid oil that you would use to dilute a essential oil. Why would you want to do that? Well, some of them, for example, Aroma Touch works a lot better if you can spread it around a little more. This one is used for massage and in order to get a better spread with your oil you would use a carrier oil. Uh, another reason that you would use it is if you have one that's a little bit stronger, maybe peppermint or oregano, you would use a fractionated coconut oil or a carrier oil in order to um, reduce the um, sensitivity of the oil. Uh, also for a child that has more sensitive skin or anybody that has more sensitive skin you could use a carrier oil. If you didn't have fractionated coconut oil you could use olive oil or anything else um, that you have in the house but those tend to have a smell to them. Beauty of fractionated coconut oil is that it doesn't smell it's had the fat taken out of it so it stays liquid all the time and it doesn't ever go bad. So it's a very light, um, not as greasy type of oil that uh, won't stain your clothes and it doesn't add a smell. So let's say I was going to use some Aroma Touch. I would take the fractionated coconut oil, just put a little bit in my hand, and then I would add a few drops of the oil that I'm going to use. That was a lot. <laughs> um, rub my hands together and then let's say I was going to um, you know let's say I'm putting on guard on my son's back because he has a cold I would just rub it on his back or um, in this case I'm just going to enjoy it myself with my aroma touch smell it I can rub it on my neck and any it much more um, soothing and easy to blend. It also makes the oils last longer. Um, the beauty of that is that you only need a couple of drops and you can put it in a roller bottle and it'll last a lot longer that way. So a lot of benefits to using fractionated coconut oil. Um, pretty easy to find. doTERRA does sell one that you can order with your monthly order but you can also get it in the store. I've seen it in supermarkets and uh, even in Target. Um, great to have on hand for any quick blends that you need to make. You can just do it right in your hands. You don't have to have a roller bottle. The other thing that I do want to mention though is sometimes you do want solid coconut oil and I'll show you an example of why. If you want to have something that does stay solid, so for example, I made this. This is a, a salve for um, any kind of cracked skin. So I made this salve uh, for my husband because he gets cracked skin from having to wash his hands at work all the time. And I made this with solid coconut oil, uh, beeswax, frankincense, and lavender. And so I melted down the beeswax and the solid coconut oil. I added my essential oils and then let it harden back up. And then once it hardens, it stays a nice solid very um and you can choose your consistency but I wanted this very solid so that we could rub 
it onto the fingers and that it would really stay on there um, through hand washings and throughout the day. Um, so there are uses for both kinds of coconut oil, but definitely the fractionated is the one that we use more often. Do you have any tips for fractionated coconut oil? Um, have you ever heard of it before you started using essential oils? Let me know, and let me know if you have any other questions. Uh, I'll be happy to answer it. So hopefully this was helpful to you, and you guys have a great day. Thanks so much.